welcome back to Dr. Walls and Friends. And as promised, another seat is filled. <laughs> we are now being joined by Miss Francesca Solomon. Spelled with a K, like I spelled with a K. With a K. So y'all can already see she's diva ass. So now the K has extra flyness to it. Yeah. All right. So tell the audience a little about yourself. Well, I'm Francesca. I'm 21 years old, and at 21, I am an office manager at an advertising agency, and I am now a radio personality on a radio station here in St. Lucia. Yes. So, <laughs> um, I aspire to be a fashion designer, yes. but that's the ultimate goal. But I also aspire to be as much of everything as I can. Oh. So I want to do as much of everything else. I don't just have a dream. Yeah. It's that. It's going to come. But I aspire to be a lot of things. Oh, she's going to make me find a tambourine. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I found my tambourine. I got to get my phone. I have a tambourine app on my phone. Yes, I do. Oh, do you? Yes, I do. I do. Where there is Dr. Walls, there is tambourine. Tambourine will travel. Okay. <laughs> Exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. That's it, to be all that you can be. Yes. Mm -hmm. To be all, whatever that is. Yes, whatever. And so as we went to commercial break, we started talking about that moral responsibility. Right. And the conflict that people often feel between the perception mm -hmm. external and the drive that's driving us right. internally. And hopefully getting there to be a match. And that really kind of goes back to what you were talking about with people and misperceptions. Do you want to speak a little, a little bit about that moral responsibility? Well, yes, it's been on my mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can sing a song about it too if you want to. Um, what comes to my mind when I think of moral responsibility is more the internal aspect of it. Um, really getting in touch with yourself, identifying what you, what really moves you, what you like, what really um, affects you negatively. Um, what, what, what brings you down, yeah. so that you will know that that's something that okay, you could use to pull you up. Because if the worst person to satisfy is yourself. And I think we have a moral responsibility to be true to ourselves and to be there for ourselves. Yes. Um, and whomever we, we feel we are in that moment, to try our best to be that person mm -hmm. and to be around people who facilitate that. And if they don't facilitate that, take yeah. that in the moment, to step away from that. Yes. You know, a step away from the crowd or, or the, whatever is perceived to be the in thing. Mm -hmm. Because um, from my own personal experience, um, I have found that if, if everybody else is happy with me and I'm not happy with me, it, it really doesn't cut it. It doesn't matter. So we have a moral responsibility to be our best friends, I to agree. be friends to ourselves. I agree. Yeah. 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 I, I encountered the moral responsibility issue, especially being a mother, mm. and trying to find you know, the middle ground of this role that, that you know, you are role one to your children. Yes. Uh, you you um you know that us um you by society as a role even more so because now you're a mother and you're supposed to walk this certain way, talk this certain way, and do this and do things that are right for your kids. Exactly. And it's you know that it is difficult when the you as a, as a woman mm -hmm. you sort of have to wear the woman hat and the mother hat. Yes. And they they you know there's always a tussle between. What do you do as a mother and what do you do as a woman yes. in this body um, experiencing life, doing things, viewing things from, from that perspective? Mm -hmm. and, and then there's the, the mother role. So there's always that adjustment. That Adjust balancing. Yes. That act. So it's just, you know, just like finding the middle ground, I guess, is not easy by, yeah. any, by any stretch of my imagination right it, now. But, it's something um, that sounds like you have to stay conscious of. Yes, exactly. And negotiate through it all the time. Yes. Um, no, you, you can't just put it on the shelf and forget about it. You constantly be examining it and taking it apart and mm -hmm. with your own perspective as well. Yeah. But not, not, don't forget, I wouldn't say that you forget what society is saying, but um, the connection is really you from the inside. Yes. And that le le level of comfort that you have. And, and then society will appreciate where you, you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to jump to Felicia and I'm going to say Louise and Francesca. For the oh, I got you with a K. You don't got to worry about it. I got, I got you. So, I'm going to save you two for last only because you moved from kind of behind 
behind the scenes to being public figures, mm -hmm. okay? Now, as members of Headphone, you are also public figures as well, but you two step out just a little bit further. So Felicia, what are your thoughts about this moral responsibility? Interestingly, while Naomi and I kept on thinking of myself while I grew up, while growing up, and I thought of morals and responsibilities as something outwardly. Mm -hmm. um, more like my responsibilities of how I carry myself and how people see me. Yes. How I would carry myself um, in terms of how my parents or my family see me and make sure I live up to their standards. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's only, I'll say for the past five, six, ten years that I realized that the moral responsibility starts first with me, inside of me, what I believe in myself, how, what I do to be true to the person that's inside of me first. Because if I don't understand what's happening in me, if I'm not responsible, a responsible person for the thoughts that I have, the things that I have inside of me, then I won't be able to compare myself or work with or be in communion with people on the outside. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very, very interesting while we were talking. It just kept came to me and I, I'm thinking also, I'm thinking, I wonder if that's the problem with a lot of young people now, is that we haven't been able to tackle within ourselves and understand what's going on with ourselves first. Because yeah, there's we have to do it so much on the outside and try to put on this social mask every day and try to be this person for each person, for your family, for your people at work, for the people that you walk by, you know, and you have not really tackled what's really happening inside. I mean, there's hardly anyone that can actually help you do that, and, you know? You, I mean, the same way your parents, like my, my mother had me young, like I don't know, 15, 16, mm -hmm. and I know she has not even dealt with that with herself. That's right. So who's going to help me deal with that in me? That's right. You know, you, at this point in time, you have to either try to find it by yourself or learn, like, well, through people sharing or yes. groups or, you know, but it's not something that you come across very easily right. to learn, to, to develop within your right. life. So that's, yeah. it's a, it's a, a lot of learning, yeah, a lot of learning that has to happen, yeah. a lot of good that has to happen, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that you are thinking of, moral responsibility can also be a choice, you know, and um, if, if we, Decide to do it. it has to be out of love and not in fear. Yeah. And a lot yeah. of us are consumed in fear yeah. because we're afraid that that thing that we're feeling, that experience that we're having, can we actually put it out there? Can we be that person? Is it um, safe for us to be that person? Will people accept that person? What I'm experiencing or feeling that I yeah. want to express? And, um, it's something that I know a lot of us are dealing with right now. And that choice that we have to make you know, when it comes to you know, responsibility. <laughs> yeah. I'm responsible for a commercial break right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going to take that and we'll be back shortly. First and third Tuesday, first and third Tuesday, from 8 to 10 p.m. It's Dr. Walls and Friends. First and third Tuesday. First and third Tuesday from 8 to 10 p.m. It's Dr. Walls and Friends. We are inspiring, encouraging, and motivating you to live your passion and purpose too. So join us from 8 to 10 p.m. Right here on Dr. 